what's good family so mash the like button and subscribe so my loyal dons out there know we covered the masvidal smokage masvidal getting smoked by my dog kamaru usman usman sent him peacefully listen Mas all, all i know is yeah after my dog usman touched his chin touched his whiskers he was peaceful he was just catching a quick catching some z's yeah I find it, I can't lie to you, I do. I did find it a tad disrespectful that Masvidal, after all them people paid all that pay-per-view money, and he's sleeping on the job. Like, come on, boss. What, are you telling me you couldn't do 25 minutes of work without trying to catch some Zs? I just think, I don't know, man. We've heard about John Jones before, a few a few nights before the fight, going out on a bender, but Masvidal must have been... I heard that Masvidal was going way too hard in the paint. Way too hard in the paint the night before. And then two twos, he gets in the fight. In round two, he's trying to catch some Zs. Like, where did, it, where did they do that at? D don't know or no. Yeah, I've never heard of anything so ridiculous in my life. My man in the middle of his second world championship title fight. And he's catching some Zs. Like, what? what is that? Just tell her disrespectful looking. In there, you could see it himself. He was in there trying to catch some Zs on Usman's back. Just sitting there sleeping. I thought, what the? What is this? Anyway... Like I said, we covered that fight yesterday. Masvidal, he was hella sleepy looking. Catching all them Zs inappropriately on the job. At work. What, you're telling me you're at work and you're trying to catch some Zs? Like, what? What is that? No wonder Dana don't like Jorge. No wonder Dana didn't want to give him a... Uh, no wonder Dana didn't want to give him a, a contract upgrade. How are you going to get an upgrade when you're catching Zs middle of your job? Imagine that going into work here at the warehouse. Got eight hour shift and... After, in round, in hour two, you're sitting there sleeping. Nah, that can't work, I'm afraid. Can't work. So anyway, like I said, we covered that. Anywho, Muck Tapper. Connor Muck Tapper somehow found, has found his way, or found an angle to enter this hype. What, you, what, what's sad about Muck, Muck Tapper is now, yeah? I remember when Muck Tapper was on his game, when he was doing his job. Yes, he'd watch UFC fights. Yes, he'd comment on some things, but mainly it was in a aspirational, for from an aspirational point of view. Meaning he'd see something cool happen in the UFC, and he'd kind of he'd give it the granddad approach. He'd, he'd inspire people. Now, because he's so washed, and because he doesn't have any success of his own in the octagon, he's always trying to pick at everyone else now. Pick at people who are successful. Does that make sense? He's trying to cling on to their clout. Because he hasn't got any clout of his own anymore in the octagon. So he can't give it the granddad where you're, you know what I mean, trying to inspire people. How can you inspire someone when you when you yourself just entered the meme hall of fame? Prober, Dustin Prober clapped him. And he was there, another one, another Don, another man that Dana is not happy with. Trying to catch some Z's on the job. Yeah? You can see, the pictures are there. He was, he, what's his name? What's his name? McTapper's trainer. Threw him a pillow down, and he was just sitting there in the corner, cotching against the against the cage. No joke. McTapper was in there against the cage, cotching, catching some Z's. Just just tell it disrespectful. Anyway, like I said, because he hasn't catch, caught any dubs in a minute, he then wants to always insert himself into people who are catching dubs. And Usman, he stay catching the most dubs right now. And you'll see the the first message he sent was, Usman's even copying my shots now. Am I to fight this guy at some stage? I think so. Can't be copying my words and my shots and not get a smack for it. I like 170. It's mine soon. And again, like I told you, man, McTapper, he ain't realising you're not that guy no more. Yeah, and he never was, to be fair. It was all a charade. It was all WWE 2.0. That's the truth of it. About 170's mine soon. 155 ain't yours. Habib, Habib, yeah, was begging to come back, to be fair, to clap your cheeks again, but you couldn't even deliver. You turned Khabib off. We was all waiting to see that fight again, and you couldn't follow through. You got clapped by Prober. P-head clapped you, and that's the end of that. Left you there slumped, sleeping, catching some Zs on the drop. Not a good look, McTapper. And now you're trying to bark at 170. What pla What seriously, yeah? What planet is he on? You've never been the same since you left 145, and arguably... The only reason he was so good at 145 was because he was fighting midgets. He wasn't really a 145 fighter. He was actually just cheating, essentially, going down and fighting midgets. And then when he came up to fight, fight to fight men his own size, he gets mauled. 
he gets slapped around. Anyway, so that's the first thing he said. Then Muktapa goes on to say, The crowd has me salivating like a dog. Bro, you got clapped in there. You weren't salivating, you were sleeping like a dog. <laughs> Literally, you was catching Z's like a lazy dog. Then he says, I'm a block at 170, guys. Give me till end of year at this 155 weight. I'll get the strap and then I'll go up again. After green fungus panties, I'll go up again after green fungus panties. Because any one of these fools can get it, Usman. Listen, you don't want no problems with Usman. Like, what do you think this... Do you think Muktapa thinks we believe this? I'm not sure what angle he's getting at. I really don't. Usman would maul you. If Muktapa ever got in the ring with Usman, he would become pregnant 100%. He'd be the first man that became pregnant. Because that's how deep Usman would be going inside him. He'd be going all the way inside. All deeply in there. He'd be deeply inseminated. It'd be a scientific miracle. But that's because people won't realise. How did? How can a man make another man pregnant? Well, you'll find out. Because Usman would just be in the paint going hard. He'd be going so hard, you you turn you into a woman. You, In fact, you'll, be, you'll wish you was a woman. No doubt. You couldn't... What we do know is, Usman, in my opinion, is a better version of Habib. More well-rounded. Probably got better, got better athletic genetics as well. So on that basis, and that, and he's the way up as well. He's the way up. You, like, again, I'm not sure if he's just trolling. Likely he's just trolling. I'm hoping for his sake he's trolling. Because you ain't that guy. There was a point in time when, myself included, I would have probably gassed this up and thought, yeah, but you ain't that guy. You went in there with Proba and you got slapped about. What, because you beat Cowboy? Cowboy didn't even turn up. Cowboy's a bum. And you think, because Cowboy, who even is Cowboy these days? Cowboy was good, yeah, when the UFC was them 2008 times. In 2008, the, uh, the UFC was full of rednecks. It, it was like, you know what I mean? It was full of them dons who were just hard. It weren't no skills. Now, we're seeing true skillful people coming along. And unfortunately, that's not what it is no more. Cowboy, you know, good. Cowboy isn't even top 20 these days. He's one of them old hard fighters, but that's not what the sport's about anymore. He's transcended that. So I know you think you're all good and whatnot, but you'll get mu- In fact, I want to see it. I want to see you get memed again. I love seeing Muktapa get memed. I really do. I love it. I'm, I'm there to see it all. And Usman, like I told you, man, Usman will impregnate Muktapa. 100%. He'll get turned out. Just like Wilder did against Fury. 100%, no joke. Confirmed. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he sent another message to Usman as well. Check this out. He, ain't, he didn't stop there. He didn't stop there. He goes on again and says, check this out. Here we go, where are we? Oh, man, this guy's going out sad. He going out sad right now. Let's go deeper. You're right, let's go deeper on this one, still. So, McTapper then goes on to say, A shot of proper 12. I'll do him and Big Frano at the same time. He says he wants Francis Ngannou. And at this point, I knew he was just joking around. He must be joking. He must be joking. Ngannou would touch his Don and he'd go flying through the air. No joke. I reckon, I reckon McTapper's clot may actually leave his neck. His neck would go loosey-goosey. And he'll be there trying to... De-devil de him will get in the, have to get in the octagon and try and put him back together again. Because trust me, he won't, be leave, he won't be leaving the ring in the same place. There's levels to this game. Ngannou, he just punched through M Muktapa. Muktapa, Ngannou, yeah, is the guy Muktapa thinks he is. That guy with a one bang. Muktapa never really had the one bang. Because any time he came up against someone who's decent, who wasn't a midget, the one bang was non-existent. Yeah, Eddie Alvarez, no good. Where is he now? No, don't, no one know. Aldo, small. And finished. Who else has Muktapa done? No one. Anyone who really came to fight. Even look at Dustin Prober. I have to give Muktapa his credit. The mind games clearly did add a lot of value. That's on him. Fair play to him. That worked for him. But when the minute people got over the mind games, he fell apart. The minute people came to fight, the Dustin Prober is a perfect example. Dustin Prober was mentally broken. He got chipped. The minute people don't get mentally broken. And to be fair, Evander Holyfield proved this. Against Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, most people was broken before they got to the ring, literally. I didn't realise how real it was until I saw Muktapa in real time. 
People were getting in the ring broken before they even fought. But the minute people get in the ring and they're not scared of him, they fall apart. Tyson fell apart against Holyfield. He got bullied. Got bullied in there. He didn't like it. He didn't like taking back what he got given. He liked giving it out. But Tapper's the same. He's good at giving it out. When it came to taking it, he fold. He fold in the corner, catching some Z's. Dana Mad. Dana Mad, you're catching Z's on the drop. Not a good, not a good look, McTapper. Yeah? So, Big Frano. I know he's, he must be joking about that one, but knowing McTapper, he probably believes it. He probably thinks he would have a good goal on Frano. Yeah? Let's not forget, McTapper was bragging about folding the mountain. He said, oh, yeah, look, did you not see what I did against the mountain? I folded the mountain. <laughs> he's delusional. He's delusional. And to be fair to him, at the time, I probably was banging the bell wagon. I probably said, yeah, yeah, McTapper folded the mountain. Nganu ain't no mountain. Nganu is just too much athletic, too much athleticism. He'll knock McTapper's head right off his clerk for him. Leave him, leave him, leave him looking headless looking. Headless horseman, looking ass, no doubt. And I, again, like I told you, man, earlier, it's sad to see the state of McTapper because how the mighty have fallen. He's now reduced to calling out anyone with relevancy, anyone with performance clout. In Ganu, he's hot right now. Usman's hot right now, and because you you, you ain't got nothing to talk about. McTapper was never like this. McTapper was never for clout chasing, for clout chasing's sake. Certainly not in his successful days, he wasn't. Now, you just... Anyone who's got something that you have, anyone who's winning, you want to be associated with it. It's sad. Real sad. And that whole Francis Ngannou call out, man, how bad's that? How desperate is that? Just desperate he is. Desperate to be associated with some success. And I just can't wait to see. I, can't, I really pray Prober goes in there and fills him in again. I, when I saw him go limp in that in that fight against Prober, I couldn't believe it. I was rock hard watching it. He just he just disintegrated on live TV. Mr. Big Conor McGregor's known for setting frame, yeah. He's known for walking around with his chest pumped out, setting frame. McGregor is arguably the godfather of frame. He walks around and his chest pumped out, and he's got a good posture. Listen, Prober clipped his whiskers, and that frame, his shoulders curved forward. His back, he gave his back up, his booty popped out the back, and Prober just hopped on. Yeah, Prober hopped on nicely and it started taking him. No doubt. And you best believe, Usman, Usman will leave McTapper looking messy. And he'll knock him out as well. I don't even think he'll wrestle him. He won't need to. Usman's hands are too good. Usman's hand will punch through, he'll punch through McTapper. Easy as well. McTapper won't know what hit him. And McTappa thinks because he beat Cowboy. Cowboy ain't even top 50 these days. Usman will beat Cowboy and a few other men on the same night. Light work. In fact, I'd back, no joke, I'd back, yeah, Usman to beat McTappa and Cowboy on the same night. Back to back. Within within a round each, I reckon. 